Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, I don't know why there's no music on the actual games here. The the top menu has music for some reason, but these parts don't. Whatever. We're getting into poke uh, Pokemon. Pfft. Ah, it's been a bit since I played Pokemon. I'm going to get back to it after we get through Mario for a bit, you know? Um, but yeah, we're getting back to Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels, which is the original Super Mario Brothers 2 that they had in Japan. I'm gonna get through this one, and then I'm gonna start on Mario 3. Uh, probably get halfway through Mario 3 tonight, I think. Something like that. We'll see. So, with that in mind, let's go. Let's go. All right. Shit. Good start. Good start for the night. Mm -hmm. Um, I did, I don't know, some of you might have stuck around, maybe not, uh, but I did a, a test of streaming from the living room, which you can see on the past broadcast tabs, uh, past broadcast tab, singular, uh, but it's just playing some Fall Guys, it's just game footage and audio, uh, you can see chat, but I don't have any video set up yet. Streaming straight from the PS4, and uh, I was a little hindered by the cables I have. I bought a, another audio cable that should make it so that I can do some more interesting things and be able to do the whole setup a little easier. So if that's the case, I'm going to do some PS4 games. Shit. Which I do from the living room without you being able to see my, my beauteous face or all the cool branding that... Coco spent a lot of time on, so that that is actually a bit of a loss, but that's fine. I can set it up from all of that, and it'll be just as fun for you. But yeah, I'm going to do another test tomorrow, probably after I do Mario, or maybe a little earlier. Playing some more Fall Guys to check that that audio cable works the way that I expect it to. Shit. God damn it. There's just no easy way to go about this. Fuck! I still am not used to these controls. I feel like, I don't know man, the original Mario's just kinda... Just had bad controls, dude. This shit's so slip-slidey. Maybe it's because I'm constantly running. But look at that! It, like, it'll go from, like, nothing to... Suddenly, you're, you're going. You're just fucking going. There's no gradualness to it. I guess I'm used to, like, Sonic or whatever, where it just kind of naturally goes. Um, but this, it just feels, like, so sudden that you're just like, yep, get fucked. Mmm. Oh, boy. It's all right. It's all right. I can handle myself. Motherfucker! I should not have been able to jump off like that. What the fuck is this? Like, I know this is supposed to be a lot harder than... than the original Mario Brothers, and I already had trouble with that, but like, Jesus. It's just ridiculous. Why is this how this game worked? It just has real fucking shitty controls. What This level design feels like a bad Mario Maker level as well. Like, it's shit like that with the blocks in the way. A single block directly in the way. Like, that feels like something from a fucking troll level. God damn it. I mean, I'm not saying Sonic's good. To be clear, Sonic is still pretty, pretty rough because it, it, it tried to... It tried to do, um, like, puzzly bits, which do not work for that control scheme. But at the same time, there are parts of it that I still enjoy. And a lot of it is nostalgia goggles, because I grew up with that game. Played it with my mom. Um, but yeah, I just... I don't know, man. This, this These controls really suck. G granted, by the time we get to what would be the Genesis era on the Super Nintendo, all the controls are a lot better. Yeah, it's between this and it's between, uh, it's between this and Kaizo Mario, which a lot of people seem to like, 
but uh, I'm not. It, I don't know. It's. I mean, it's kind of interesting because a lot of them are just intentionally bad, and they think that's how it works. But it's like a proper Kaizo level directly like misdirects you. It like figures out exactly what you would be expecting to happen, and then it does the opposite just to fuck with you. Which is an art unto itself. Fuck! I jumped! But I was still falling. Exactly. I mean, I want to be the guy also clearly took um, a lot of inspiration from Kaizo Mario. Uh, ah, fuck! They bump against the other shells. Uh, but yeah, I want to be the guy was... I, I greatly appreciate that game for doing what it did, which is it, it showed that that kind of a thing is uh, possible, of like making something that actively misdirects people in a very specific way. I would say a better game for that is A Thousand Spikes, or A Thousand and One Spikes is the, the remastered edition. But I, I would highly recommend that, because it, it does the kind of stuff that I Want to Be the Guy did, but it did it in a more clever, fuck, a clever way. It like, it, it's to the point where it almost feels like a comedy game in how specifically it directly like teases you and puts you into a situation where you expect it to do one thing, but then it, it completely, completely fucks you over. Come on. There we go. That jump should not have fucked me over last time. Whoa! Ah, I hope that wasn't anything good. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is still World 2 2. Fuck! <sighs> Why? Why is that even fucking possible? How can I fucking slide off the end like that? In a stand- this isn't like a fucking like ice level or anything. It's sometimes you just fucking slide right off. <sighs> what? Where do I go? Oh. Uh, it's gotta be another one then, right? Nope. Okay. Fuck! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Really? Really? This is actually what they put in a real fucking Mario game. This is like... Like, this is full-on just Mario Maker troll level shit. I can't fucking get up there, because I, I can't scroll further back. And I hit jump! I hit jump right as I fucking was about to go off the edge. But I didn't register it. <sighs> Cannot believe that shit. That's ridiculous! In a mainline fucking Mario game. I see why they didn't fucking put this over. It didn't have... It didn't come to America because it was too fucking hard. It didn't come to America because it fucking sucks. It's fucking bad. You cannot put something that absurd into a fucking... Li like, that was just poorly fucking designed. There's no way for you to have known ahead of time. It's actively... It actively fucks with you. To put you in a situation where you have to fail. Like, unless you- FUCK! <sighs> yeah, I do not like this one. I didn't like the first one either, honestly. I was having a good time with the second one, but it's like... These games just are so fucking primitive. The controls really blow, and like, maybe by the standards of the time they felt better, but like, it's just- it does not move well at all. It moves like fucking garbage. There's like 
it's super unpredictable how Mario is going to fucking speed up or slow down. His momentum makes no logical fucking sense. Great! I'm fucking glad. Like there, where it, do it, it, it doesn't fucking speed up fast enough. Because it doesn't, it fucking goes in clicks. It's not a smooth gradient, it's like it fucking, it just clicks into another gear after a minute. I honestly, I honestly might give up on this one because it's just putting me in a shitty mood. This is not good. It's just real bad and it's pissing me off. Ah. Come on, come on, there we go. Yeah, I can imagine. I, I I can definitely imagine if they had released this in fucking America after the fucking first game, people would have been real pissed. Cause I can't even get through the second fucking level on the second world. And I'm like an adult with a ton of platforming experience, so like a fucking kid in a world where, like, the strongest platformer was just the original Mario? No way in hell. This would have been fucking... This would have been an incredible failure in America. I don't know. How well did it even fucking do in Japan? I can't imagine this was, like, a good entry into the fucking series. I feel like part of the reason they didn't fucking do it in America is because they recognized how it failed and people didn't like it. Like, it introduces some interesting concepts, but like, those... Those concepts are not interesting enough to put up with the bullshit that's in this game. Okay, so it led me back here. Come on, where's the block? Fuck you, come on. Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? You get one shot at that. Because if you jump for it, it fucking scrolls you along, and now I'm just too far fucking... I, there's not enough room. There's not enough fucking room to get up onto the block. Great. Yes, I mean this was a the what they designed to be Mario 2. Like this is what they were going to put out. I don't know how am I doing something wrong on that part? Cuz like I don't know how the fuck they expect me to do that. You you get one chance. If you fucking miss your chance, then you're just fucked. And you have to start over. I don't know, it might also be that it's because it's in All-Stars, and maybe the maybe the controls and shit were better in the actual original Famicom game, but I, I don't have uh, a lot of faith that that's the case. Fuck! Fucker! Just... His jump arc is... It, it's so wildly fucking unpredictable. Half the time, I feel like I should have definitely made a fucking jump, and I didn't. And that's like... that That is not something you want in a game. Is... Just pure frustration. Because your fucking game... Screwed over the player. Like, the the most aggravating thing to in any game is when a death does not feel like it was your fucking fault. If it feels like the game was the fault of the fucking, or the, the death was the fault of the fucking game like that! Why the fuck couldn't I stop in time?
That was a big thing. I was a fucking uh, one. I was talking with you about Super Meat Boy. Like, that was a big thing that they focused on. Was, like, if a, you died, it, like, it was your fault. Like, they made sure that there was no fucking issues with the mechanics, with the controls. Everything was predictable. So that if you fucking, if you died, it was because of your mistake. And it wasn't because the fucking game just did something weird and fucking killed you. And uh, yeah, there's glitches and shit, I know, but that's, that's unimportant. Because that's just, that's going to happen in any game. That's just, by virtue of being a fucking, uh... A computer program. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going for that fucking trap. Because if I get down there, <coughs> it's just gonna get me fucking stuck with the shell man. Oh god. Ah, fuck. Fuck. Wait, can you grab the shells in this? No. No, you can't. Okay, can't go in there. Ah, fuck, come on. Is there, like, another block here? Fuck. Okay. Nope! Fuck! What am I supposed to fucking do now? I'm just trapped. I'm just fucking trapped. I can't loop... Come on. Can I fucking loop it back? Practically, it fucking... There we go. Fuck. Nope! Can't fucking... Fucker! Nothing. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm giving up on this one. This is absolute bullshit. This game sucks. Last level, like, I'd heard it was fucking hard, but this is... Uh, what the fuck am I supposed to do there? I've tried it so many different ways. I don't have other options. You can fucking run and you can jump. That's the entire game. I can't get enough momentum to go across, and I can't fucking get enough momentum to go to the fucking pipe. So yeah, no. This game is fucking impossible. <sighs> so we are moving on instead to Mario 3, a game that's actually good. Fuck lost levels. Hmm. Okay, now this is a game I actually know pretty well. I am going to get the warp whistles, but I'm not going to use them because I just want to, like, play the whole game. But I just want to show off that I, that I uh, know where they are, you know? To make it clear that I'm not that bad at Mario, I just fucking... Lost Levels is infamous for being ridiculous. Ah, fuck. Shit! God damn it. the fucking block. What the hell? Okay, whatever. I don't need it, but that feels like it's wrong. Feels like it was supposed to do that. I what the fuck? Why did I wait, why did I jump out?
Yeah, see, that is supposed to do that. Why didn't it do it the... It wasn't off screen. Or was it? For like a split frame. Am I still... No, I fucking... Am I doing this wrong? It's been a long time since I played this, so I don't remember exactly what the, uh, the limitations are. Come on now. Come on now. Okay. I- what the fuck? It's just timing out. What the hell? Well, fuck it. Whatever. You get to the end of the stage doing that, and you get the fucking warp whistle there. <sighs> God damn it. So, that's how you get the first warp whistle. The other one I'll, I'll sh show when we get there. And I think one you can just, like, get from a toad house. That you gotta get a hammer to break through. I remember when I was a kid, um, when I got, I got a Game Boy Advance, what the fuck? So it has to be fully on screen for those to count, okay. When I got, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, the Game Boy Advance version, I also got a Game Boy Advance. And, like, uh, a strategy guide? My grandma got me, like, a whole bundle from Costco, and it was the dopest shit. I played it to death, which it, it helped because with Strategy Guide, it actually had like a diagram of all the different toad houses with the memory game and stuff. Ooh, P-Switch. Yeah, yeah. Ah, mushroom. Here we go. Slopes. Shit. Yeet. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure there is a P switch in one of these blocks. Fuck, come on. Come on, do the fucking thing. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, secrets. I got like 30 coins. Be it underwhelming if I'm to be honest. But it could have been much worse. Tanuki. Yes. Do 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 do. Come on. Ah, fuck. There we go. Okay. Ah, I'm the star man. Eh, yeah, whatever. I need it. And heck, let's just go as many as many stages as we can. Really milk this since we're not going to be finishing the other game. Oh, what the fuck? I hit the button. It might just be because it's this fucking... The All-Stars collection might be a little fucky. Shit. 
I do not remember this, but I will take it. Hmm. Oh boy, it's a little slow. Okay. Wow, it gets you right to the end of the stage. Damn. Oh yeah, a little tip for anybody who's interested. If you get the full P-meter run up, and then you hit the bottom left corner of the box, like go straight up at into it at a 45 degree angle, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a star. We're gonna go this box. Give it to me. Fire flower. Yes. I'll accept this. And what did I... Hold on, how do you... Hold on, how do you access the... Hmm. Ah. Yes, it's the Y button. Uh, I will save that for in case I take any damage. Mmm. I really like that kind of lattice work there. It looks like a, a delicious, like, chocolate waffle. Oh, man. Waffles always sound good, but then it's like, they're such a pain in the ass to make. It's just, it's so messy, and cleaning waffle makers is so goddamn annoying. Oh, maybe it's just the, the waffle maker that I have. I've been making a lot of crepes lately. Because they are surprisingly easy. Shit! Ah, I got pushed. If you wanna, if you wanna learn how to make a delicious crepe, go go watch uh, Sorted Foods on YouTube. They just put out a pretty solid video on how to make pancakes and crepes. And it's it. Uh, you do need a scale. Which, I mean, you should have one anyways, if you want to cook, because it's, it's, it just, it just makes cooking so much easier, and it opens up, uh, your potential to so many other recipes. But, um, yeah, it's basically just a, oh, that too, I like a toaster waffle well enough. It's a good pre-workout food because it's not that heavy, but it's just filling enough to uh, prevent any sort of acid reflux action. Um, but if you want to make a delicious pancake, just weigh out uh, one egg per person that you're cooking for, and uh, weigh out one egg per person that you're cooking for, and then put in the same amount of milk uh, whisk it all together until it's good and frothy. Uh, no, wait. Ah, I messed, I messed up how that goes. It's a ratio of, like, one, one, one egg, flour, milk, but there's, like, other stuff you gotta do. Just go look up Sorted Foods' video. I don't, I don't know how to put it any better than they will. And they're doing it not under the pressure of playing a video game. Hmm. That one. Ah, shit. Hmm. I messed up. I messed them up. Whoop. Come on. See, yeah. W with this game. Just like the movement makes so much more sense. In the first couple games, they just, it's just a fucking mess. And the movement and the controls are just so, like, unpredictable. Here we go. Okay, now this is how you get the other warp whistle. And go up here. Secret passage. Uh, right, secret passage. What's going on? Hmm. 
Why can't I? I see the room over there. Okay, I guess they took that out of the All-Stars version? Weird. But, oh well. But yeah, that room that for some reason you can't access here, that is where the other warp whistle would be. And there's another one in the, the, the desert. Like I said, I wasn't going to use them anyways, so it was mostly just to show off. Here we go. Gonna fight Boom Boom. Little turtle man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Whoa, whoa. There we go. And one more. For good measure. And there we go. Five. Are we on the fifth level? Hell yeah. Huh, interesting for them to make this so uh, verdant and green. Considering it's the underground level. Mm, whatever. Strange decisions, but still interesting. Oh wow, that was a very short level. Ah, damn it. Keep hitting it too late. That's fine. If I get three mushroom, I'll at least get a, a one up. Hammer Bros. Ah, shit, there was the card there. Hopefully it's still there when I get back. Nice. I get a star. Little star man. There we go. Right, and then this is memory. Nice. Nope. Nice. Oh, Starman. Come on, I can play a memory game. Well, I got some stuff. Don't need any of it right now. But I got it. I'm just double checking, dude. Most of this stuff isn't working the way it's supposed to, so. Gotta make sure the red Koopas aren't gonna screw me over and decide to just start walking off platforms. Oh, yeah. Oh, moving platforms. This is what I'm saying. This is like. This game was shockingly advanced for NES. Like. It. It still surprises me when I remember that this was on NES and not Super Nintendo. Oh shit! Three mushrooms! Not two up. Cool. Because it's just, it's so, I mean, okay, the All-Stars version is on Super Nintendo, but like, even if I was playing the original Mario Brothers 3, it's so impressive what they were able to do. And it, it makes sense that it was so late in the um, the lifespan of the NES. It was one of the last games on it. So it's just like... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I need the wand! We're going! On the airship! Watch out. These, the airship levels, so creative. And like, yeah, they're auto-scrollers, but it's like auto-scrollers that at least make sense to be auto-scrollers. It's not just like, eh, it's floating along because we thought that'd be cool. It's like, no, it's, the ship is like scooting along through the sky and everything. Real creative, real clever. Like this is, that's also the kind of stuff that was in Super Mario Bros. 2. The last levels didn't have any of that shit. And I guess if you think of the entire concept of Mario being introduced in the original, that's also pretty creative and clever, so I, I appreciate that. But like, whoa, no. Uh, let me, 
All right, I gotta chase him down. Let's uh, let's eat up a fire flower. I also like when uh, Mario falls. Sometimes he gives does the kind of yeah the wing. He fall he falls and he like does the little like floaty. Shit, God, I'm getting hit by everything. Oh boy. Yeah, I forgot how uh how kind of tricky these were. It's it's still pretty tricky, but it's like it's manageable. It's manageable because the game isn't actively trying to fuck with you the way Lost Levels was. It's like that that whole game just felt like a constant middle finger from the developers. Woo! Nope. Come on. Get under my feet. Damn it! You do a jump. How does Super Mario count as being the entire concept when Donkey Kong and Mario Brothers preceded it? Uh, because they didn't really include the same things? Like, Mario, as a character, the Jumpman, like, was there in Donkey Kong, but the only things that they really share in common is running around and jumping. <laughs> As same with Mario Brothers, like, that shit didn't even have mushrooms or anything. It had a POW block, I guess. But, like, like the character might have popped up in those, but for what is the side-scrolling platformer that is the Mario franchise, Super Mario Brothers was the origination of the concept. Like, Almost all of the staples, all of the enemies, all of the power-ups of Mario, the entire aesthetic came from Super Mario Brothers. Although it wasn't really until Mario 2 that uh, Mario got the iconic outfit and everything. No! No! Ah, damn it. Blocked me a little faster than I expected it to. It's fine, this level is not that long. And we're gonna do a little bit of the, uh, suspend point action. Running around and jumping is part of the deal, but there's so much more to it than that. Um, like, jumping over obstacles is, is, is like, the most that happens in Donkey Kong, and uh, a lot of the concepts in Super Mario, or rather, in Mario Brothers... Yeah, Nansa, I'd say it's more like a prototype than anything. Like, it it introduced some ideas, but for the most part, it was the most simple that a platformer could really be. It's just running, running left and right, jumping over stuff. Uh, that's it. I guess, like, you can also grab the hammer and pop stuff, but that's still just running left and right, basically. Whereas Super Mario Brothers, I, don't, I feel like... While Mario had an appearance in that, it's the same as, as saying, like, Smash is a Mario game. It's like, it's not, it has Mario in it, but it's just not the same thing. It's, it doesn't have any of the same staples. It doesn't have any of the personality that, uh, that the Mario games had. Ooh. Fuck. Damn, this boss is a lot harder than I remember it being. Alright, let's give it again. Let's give it a go again. Come on now, come on now. Just gotta be more careful about this this opening bit. Cause it it's uh it's deceptively dangerous. Woo! I don't wanna take more damage than I have to. There we go. All right, I'm gonna create a suspend point there. And 
And there we go. Got him in three. Give me the wand. Ah! Fallen. I know, I feel like the, the main reason I feel like Donkey Kong and uh, Arcade Mario Brothers don't count, don't really start as the origination is because the actual full side-scrolling levels is what Mario Brothers is. Like, just having the single screen arcade action is not what Mario ever was about, really, like, after Super Mario Brothers. I guess in the same way that Super Mario 64 really changed things. Super Mario Brothers really became what we would consider Mario Brothers, but I guess technically there was stuff before it. I'm going to take a quick break. Don't touch that internet dial. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back to it. In the desert level, which is my least favorite, partially because it's it's kind of boring. Like, it's the most bog-standard generic level idea you could come up with. There are interesting things. Like these guys. The, the little jumpy bricks. I like them. But, uh, otherwise, it's, this is not really much of interest in this particular world. And of course, Angry Sun shows up, and I hate that guy. That's what it, I always use the P-Wing for. I just fly over that entire level because I just don't have the patience to try and dodge Angry Sun for a, uh, for a whole damn level. No. No, I don't want to miss out. Aw, oh, damn. Wow, the Starmans do not last very long at all. Shit. 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 Ah, damn it. Doo doo. Doo doo. Doo doo. Uh oh. Ah, good. Ah, the note blocks. That was also a new thing for these. Pitfall for Atari 2600. Interesting. Uh, that game is okay. I mean, it, it is also just like the most standard kind of platform game. Um, fun, th there was one on NES. Pitfall 2, there was like an, a, like a, a non-linear like adventure game that was supposed to be pretty f not great. 
Um, a fun fact about Pitfall is that uh, Jack Black, his first acting role in Hollywood was as a kid being in a commercial for Pitfall. So if you look it up, Jack Black Pitfall commercial, you'll get to see a, a tiny baby Jack Black um, in a in a, a pit helmet, shouting about how much he likes the game Pitfall. No. No. Oh, they can come through? Oh, I forgot about that. I will say, it has been a minute since I've played this game. Um, I love it. It is... Mm, is it my favorite Mario game? Uh, I think I usually... I usually go for World before this, like, if I had to choose, but... I'd say this is definitely up there. Come on. Fuck. Ah, damn it. But yeah, Pitfall, Pitfall definitely was a predecessor to Mario in just that it was really one of the first platforming games. Uh, I don't know what other examples there are before that, but that's definitely like one of the most famous ones. Wasn't a lot to it, if I recall. It's just kind of you, you ran, and you jumped, and sometimes you grabbed a vine. Because it was a jungle game, and they always had vines. Mm, get him! Oh my god, yeah, that Starman lasts no time. Come on. Come on, there we go. Oh, hey. I missed that the first couple times here, huh? Come on. Come, jump on the... I have lost the timing for how to do the note blocks. Whoop. I'll get it back, I'll get it back. No worries. And that guy, get out of here. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Now let's do... Was this the uh, the slidey? Yeah. Okay. Let me pay attention. Gonna hit it when the scar star is on top. And that stops on the star. Okay. So you just gotta hit it when it is there and it loops. Come on! Come on! Oh nope nope. I was a little early on that one. Damn. Damn damn Daru. Yeah, I believe if you have the key to go through to that toad house over there, that is where another warp whistle's at. Fuck! It bounced me in a way I was not expecting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, my my score. I sure care about the score. I have to do this level again? Damn. Damn, actually, that does kind of annoy me. Eh, whatever. Hmm. Whoop. And there we go. And yep. Yo. Hmm. And I may as well grab the star man, it's free. Doesn't cost me a damn thing. Oh my fucking, why does the star man last for like zero seconds? It's, it goes by so quick. Hold on, let me see if I can, first off, let me see if I can, uh... You know, I think the real reason I always go to uh, Super Mario World first, A, it's got Iggy, although I think this also has Iggy, I think that's who I fought first, but also, it's got those Galoombas. And let me tell you, any day I see a Galoomba is a good day. 
love those little guys. They're adorable. Okay, so... What? Nope. Well, okay. Damn. Damn, I'm terrible at this one. I'm usually pretty good at timing games. Oh, well. Let's move on. Why don't we? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, this is very vertical. A P switch. Secret. Oh yeah, coins. And I guess I could deal with those cheap sheeps, but I don't feel like it, to be quite frank. Uh, no, they only, um, at least from my memory, world only has Galoombas. I am okay with that. Oh god, dry bones. Oh, another reason to like this game. Introduce dry bones. Mm, little skeleton turtle. That's quality gaming. Oh, my lips are so chapped. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get rid of my, uh, camera and video for half a second. Ah, I'll just mute myself. There we go. I figure y'all wouldn't like to hear me applying, uh, applying lip balm. It's, by my understanding, a very unpleasant sound. Whoa, Jesus. Oh my god, the boo- Whoa, the boos are so fast! Whoa! Slow down, bud! Ah, damn it. What the f oh, hoo -hoo, I got hit by a little tip. Stop it. Stop it, I didn't ask for you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Hmm. No, no, not a trick. Oh, good. Hey, it's Boom Boom again. Stop him. Shit. Ooh, watch out. Watch out, he jumped. There we go. Mm. Oh yeah, this was the first the first Mario game that had an overworld as well. The other Mario games before this just had a uh, little title screen. And while it doesn't change that much, it does allow for like non uh non combat levels. Which is something you didn't quite, you didn't really get before then. It was all, it was all just doing the the entire level. But now it's like we can have toad houses. We can have all sorts of fun stuff. We can have games. Shit. We can have the the memory games, the 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 Schleidy pictures games. I'm watching you. And whoop. All right. Bop him. Bop him. And bop him. Yeah. It's a little bit of a cheese thing, but if you can time it out correctly, you can just get him get him all in one go. No retaliation. Let's see. Ah. Uh. Well, let me do a mushroom, and then I'm gonna get the ruddy boomerang, brother. Oops. 
Well, it took a bit of damage, but it's not too bad. What do I get? Oh, what does that do? I, I have no memory of that. What does this do? I'll save it. I don't want to waste it on anything. Mmm. Here comes the maze. Because it's pyramids. Aren't, aren't we so excited? Oh. Uh, where the... Huh? There's the Koopa. Shit. Now, was this the first game that you could pick up the Koopa shell? Yes. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, watch out. Whoop. Ah, crap, I should've... Eh, well, I didn't want to miss out on the, uh... The mushroom. F whoop! I'm real dumb. I thought... I thought that was more pyramid. As I, I was descending. And when you descend... You sometimes, uh... Forget that there might not be something under you. Especially in a game like this. So, one, two... There we go, yeah. It, it like lines up too. Ah, oh, that's a dick move. It like lines up in a way to perfectly trick you. Mm. See, that's the kind of dick move I don't mind. Because that's one where I can at least recognize after I do it like, okay. Okay. You got me. Funny, funny stuff, guys. Whereas in fucking Lost Levels, it was just like, uh, no, just fuck you. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to fucking finish the game. You're not allowed to progress. Gotta watch out for these, these block guys, because they can get a little, they can be, get to be a little much sometimes, you know? Nope, no secret. Alright, and we, whoop, ah shit. I was hoping to get out of there. Oh well. Man, it really needs to be fully on screen. It didn't do that in the original. Yeah, All Stars does some weird shit. I don't know if I appreciate. Hmm. Whoop. Oh, it's just coins. I don't need coins. Oh, that's the end? Okay, I remember there being like a... Eh, there's more level to be had, so... I got a one-up. Lovely. I really needed it. Ooh. Where's this take me again? Over. Oh. Oh, that's a way to circumvent the thing. Well, that's neat. Let's go for the middle. We've been going for the left one. I'm feeling good on the mid. Oh. Eh. Spared the nothing. Which is what you'll get if you don't eat your supper. Can't have any pudding. Oh, I do have to actually hit it. I figured it'd suck me in. Oh, whoops. This is the angry sun level. I, whoop. Well, didn't mean to kill myself there, but that works out for me. Uh... Does the P-Wing? I think you... Oh, well, I didn't mean to use it, but it did, so I'm good. So yeah, this is... This was my move as a kid. Use the P-Wing against this. Although that might be what they intended, since they do give you the P-Wing for beating the uh, first level boss. I don't know. Oh, oh I set him off. Angie. Angie man. What's he so angry about? Relax, buddy. Relax. Have a bit of have a have a cup of joe. Have a cup of corfee on me. Well not on me, I don't get it. I'm not buying, but if you want it, you should have it. Ah, there's the pyramid level down there. I see. Pick a box. Let's do center again. Hey, Tanuki Leaf. There we go. That's what I like to see. 
I, I much prefer it to the uh, fireball. Whoa, Ching Chomp. No, buddy, don't bite me. No. Oh, man, it moves so fast. I, I am used to them, like, waiting a second. Whoa. Well, that wasn't super helpful for me, but thanks anyways. Your death was only mildly in vain. Whoa. Oh, now that's what I need. All right. Do the thing. Hmm. I wonder where that goes. Into the sky. Ah. Oh, wait, okay, there's more. I was gonna say, it's just five coins. Handful of coins and a shortcut. Angry that it's too hot? Oh, buddy. It's always gonna be real toasty for that man. Unfortunate. Shit. Well, that would probably be helpful if I could get to it. Ah, there we go. Come on. Come on, let me get to it. Let me get it. Maybe it's in here? Maybe I can do a little thing with this? Come on, I know I can scoot. It's like the best part of this game. I love the scoot. I made a whole Mario Maker level about uh doing the butt scoot. Hey. Well, that wasn't super helpful. Ah, fuck it, I can't get it. Oh well. <laughs> That's a secret for someone else's playthrough. Ooh, Tanuki. Give it to me. Tanuki Don. Tanuki Don. Ooh. All right. Got to get the lead up. Bam. That's how you get the star. That's the method. Ooh, another memory game. All right. Oh, it's the same memory game. Hmm, okay. This one? No. Damn. Oh, you only get two mistakes? Well, okay. Could be worse. Let's just go, you know, this is not... I don't think there's very much precision to this. Yeah. I don't need to waste my time if I'm just gonna screw it up. Well, let's get this guy. Let's get his ass. Whoop. Nope. Ooh, what do we get? Hey, a hammer. Oh yeah, that's the hammer that gets me over to the warp whistle. I think. I think it's like you have to go through the rocks on that side and there's like a secret um like a secret oasis I could be remembering that completely wrong let me know let me know in the chat if if you know what I'm talking about or if I sound like a loon cause uh very very most likely the latter and that's mostly my, my tone of voice more than anything. Come on, come on, come to me. Uh, Tanuki, don't. Actually, I think this is technically just the raccoon leaf. The Although it's a leaf, so it's supposed to be Tanuki. Um, the Tanuki suit is the one where he's like fully in the, the Kiku. Oh, really? Wow, that's a incredibly short level. I guess I, yeah, I overestimated how long levels could be in these games. Maybe auto-scrollers really, like, poisoned me to that. I don't know. Here we go. Here we go, secret. Secret! No. No. I'm thinking of the wrong place. <laughs> Maybe even the wrong game. Shit. I, I hit jump, but not in time. Ooh, ooh, these little, like, bit-out chunks makes me think of, uh... 
Oh, what was it? Uh... What was it? Super Mario Land 2. The six golden coins. The the introduction of Wario is in that game. And it's one of my favorite games. Although my, my favorite game in that whole series is Wario Land 2, which is technically Super Mario Land 4. Yeah. Yeah, because it was Super Mario Land... Super Mario Land 2, six golden coins. Um, Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land. Uh, like, that was the title, it was Wario Land. And then, uh, Wario Land 2, which was dope because it had, like, alternate endings and stuff. And it had, like, branching paths and things. It was just weird and spooky. There was, like... One of the bosses was like a kangaroo you had to play one-on-one -on -one basketball against. Just goofy stuff. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's one of those guys from the second game. Nice. I miss those guys. I miss that game. That was fun. I'm having fun with this one, though. I'm really glad I gave up on Lost Levels because that, that game was just pissing me off. I, I was having no fun with it. But yeah, between this and Super Mario World... We got plenty of uh, plenty Mario to go around still. And if I still have time left, I'll probably just do some streams of uh, Super Mario Maker to whatever levels are available. Or, hmm, could I play a little Odyssey? No, 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 no. I don't want to get into Odyssey unless I can play through the whole story. Which won't take long, but I don't want to add that on to what is already a bit of a long marathon. I know, uh, when I got it the first time, I played through the whole thing in, like, two, three days. Just, like, fully slammed through it. Oh, so good. So good. If you haven't played Mario Odyssey and you have a Switch, highly, highly recommend it. It's so, so fun. Alright. Boss time, baby. Yeah, this is the guys. Okay, so, that first guy I fought, I'm pretty sure, was Iggy Koopa. Right, his thing is that he's heavy. Right? Shit. I'm just gonna... I don't... Listen, it's not so much cheating. Because... I mean, it's built into the game first off. So, maybe not originally, but... Nintendo has sanctioned it. But also, um... There's no reason for me to go through that auto-scroller level again and make you guys sit through a couple minutes of that when I can just get to the boss fight, which is the actual, like, interesting part. Uh-oh. Audio's clipping a little bit. Hold that. I'm just gonna, gonna reset the Elgato real quick. Just a minute. There we go. She gave me a clue. Hmm, I don't remember, is this, this isn't Big Small World, that's like level 5, right? Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break and go get some more water. So, I will BRB, folks. Just a minute.
I have returned. Hello. Um, where does this, where does this pipe go? Hold on, let me check. Because I do have that hammer. I don't want to waste it too early. Oh. Well, that's not helpful. I suppose if I had a key? I'm pretty sure I don't, though. Wait, what the fuck? Shit! Shit! Ah, oh, I wasted my star man. Alright, I'm gonna use the hammer. So I can do one of these slideys. Oh, the audio is still crapping out. Hold on. Gotta reset the Elgato again. Piece of fucking garbage, man. Seriously. I don't know why the Elgato is such a shit device. It's so poorly made. It just does not work correctly. Ugh. Level one. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna adjust my posture. And the camera. There we go. There we go. There it is. Oh. Uh. Oh, okay. You can go down. Thought it was just gonna trap me. Uh oh. Watch out. Watch out for the spikes. Oh, geez, it's so dark. I feel like they kind of just lowered the, like, opacity. The opacity? No, the. The, the, the... Brightness, I guess. Oh, if you come out... I mean, that's kind of a nice effect, but, like, it just means I have to stay in this murky... Murky nastiness for most of the level. Whoa! Almost got blooped. Almost got blooped on. Now we're gonna ignore that. It's a bit too dangerous. Whoa. Shit! Ah, uh, damn. My nose itches a little bit. Alright, alright. I can... F I can fucking do this. Come on, come on. I need to quit futzing around. I know how to... I know how to Mario. What, you think I'm a gamer? I ain't never... I ain't never done a Mario? I done a Mario. Uh... Is you can you can see on the the court record, I have done a Mario. Let it let it be known, Your Honor. I'd like to tell something to the court. I've I've done a Mario. There's no denying it at this point in time. Oh, that's it. I get man. I just can't get over how short some of these levels are. I guess I'm just too used to modern... modern platformers that have, like, really long levels. I'm pretty sure they get a lot longer in Mario World. Whoa. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, shit. Right, you can't jump through the donuts. Shit! Shit! Well, at least I'm not... dead. Yep. Well, should have saved that comment. <clears throat> okay, let's do, let's do that again. I I can do that better. I swear, I swear it. This, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Is the audio already fucking up again? Ah, oh, god damn it! Piece of fucking shit. Ugh. Come on. There, we put it in another goddamn USB spot. Maybe it'll be better. Come on, come on. 
just really pissing me off. How can, how can the standard for this way to fucking handle this tech problem of how do I capture something through an HDMI output, how is the standard for that such shit? How is, how does the Elgato, the thing that you are supposed to use, the thing that tops all the fucking lists, how is it this bad? I get the feeling that they got, those lists got fucking paid off. Like they fucking, like, were sponsored by fucking Elgato, because there's no goddamn way in hell that there is no better solution to this fucking, to fucking video capture than something that works so fucking bad. It's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm all right. Nobody worry about me. Oh, hey. Two up. That's pretty, pretty nice. All right, all right. I've already been through this. Yeah, I guess World 3 is just... World World 1 and 3, I guess, just don't have themes. What the... Ooh. I thought the blooper was further over. I guess this is water theme? It's like islands? Eh. Doesn't seem like they put a lot of... A lot of thought into that one. Water levels are always, like, the most, like... Like, water levels and desert levels are often the most, like, annoying ones. Because everybody gives, like, uh, what is it? Everybody gives friggin' sewer levels shit, but it's like, no pun intended. <laughs> uh, but, like, those are at least, like, somewhat interesting, you know? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, no. But, like, desert? Who's who comes around for a fucking desert? I guess yeah. Well, there are other options. There's like the Aver Media capture card thing, and there's like I guess there's Elgato that you can actually build into your computer. But I'm on a Mac, so that doesn't this is not super helpful for me. Oh god, I got the mushroom. Um. I just, I don't know, man. Elgato just really blows. I've, I've, it, it took so much work for me just to get the goddamn thing to work with my computer. And now it just gives me constant audio problems. And I don't really have any other way to, uh, convince it to do audio correctly. So I just, I gotta fucking deal with it, I guess. Because there's, it's the only game in town that ever goes anywhere near the top of the list. I, I mean, desert levels, desert levels, ugh, I'm all mush mouth. Desert levels aren't necessarily, like, bad. They're just boring. I just, I don't know, I've seen a billion of them, so at this point I'm just like, eh. Why can't we have something a little different, you know? Oh, a frog suit. One of the, the most useless suits in the entire game. Like, it looks cute, but I don't remember ever getting any decent use out of it. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh god, I hate this. Oh god, I forgot. I forgot about Big Bertha. Oh god. Remember when she was in the they they had Big Bertha in the Mario movie? Um and she she was just a a real thick black lady with a like a spiky bra. That was good times. That movie was good. I don't care. People give it shit, but you know what? That movie was good. It did weird stuff. I don't know why it made the Goomba's uh, big body, small head, because that's literally the opposite of what a Goomba is. But God damn it. It's entertaining. And uh, John Leguizamo as Luigi, perfect casting. Bob Hoskins as Mario, perfect casting. Dennis Hopper as King Koopa. 
He's okay. He, he's not that bad or anything. I just, uh, I don't have anything great to say about him. Yeah, meadow levels are also boring, but the thing is most games don't have a whole world based around meadow levels. I guess this one does though, so that's something. I guess this, yeah, these first three worlds, not great, but it has, it has the sky world, which is super fun, and it has like tiny big world, which is awesome. Whoa, oh, we got us a real, real time. Real time fortress right here. Oh, this is one of the puzzle ones. I'm gonna go three. Whoop. Well, that was, that wasn't the best choice. How am I supposed to get to those ones? Or is that just what happens if you go through the wrong one as you end up in one of those? Listen, he shaved it, okay? Luigi, I'm just saying, John Luigi Zamo, perfect. Like, they they made a conscious choice for him not to have a mustache. You can't tell me that John Leguizamo couldn't have grown a mustache for the role if he wanted to, if they had asked him to. He He's a team player. He would have absolutely done it. But they were like, nah, doesn't need it. And uh, Iwata and Miyamoto are both in that movie. They make a cameo in the post credit sequence, so they signed off. That is official canon. As far as I'm concerned, it's canon. And uh, when are we gonna get the sequel? Huh? When are we gonna get the sequel? Where Daisy got the flamethrower? They teased that sequel. And I would've, I would've friggin' loved to have uh, seen it. But they decided not to do it. Well, it, yeah, it's not that they're particularly more boring than any other levels, but it's like, they're just boring. They're like the baseline. And my point being that, like, if we can do stuff like Tiny Big World or, like, a sky level or stuff, it's like, why would we bother wasting our time with a desert level when we could have something that's super, super creative and fun instead? No! Come back! No! No! Come back to me! Come on, hit the block, Mario. Oh, God damn it. Come on. Uh, do, 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 do the pipe, do the pipe, do, do the thing. Yeah, metal levels are the baseline. Um, But like, why should that be the baseline? Like look at something like Mario Odyssey now. Is there any, like, there are no really boring levels in that entire game. They're all really interesting worlds. Like, they have the cooking world. They have the desert world, but even within the desert world, they have, like, a lot of really interesting stuff that this desert world didn't. It was just, what if we had a pyramid? I feel like desert levels are played out. That's, that's what I'm saying. I feel like... Why settle for a desert level when you can do so many other things with your levels? Whoop. That one. Nope. I was... I knew what it was. I knew what it was. I'm just saying, if your only defense of desert levels is, I don't mind them, and they're no worse than this level, that's, no, when we, when we can literally do anything that we can imagine, if you can, you can literally make any level that you could possibly imagine, we shouldn't settle for, it's not bad. Like, why, why, why would we settle for that? I would highly recommend playing Odyssey. If, since you haven't, like, absolutely, Highly, highly recommend it. Like, it's it's what Super Mario 64 wanted to be. Like, I like Mario 64 well enough, but I'm not gonna be I'm I'm not gonna deny that it is pretty pr primitive by today's standards. 
So, like, Mario Odyssey is what that game could have been with better, uh, better hardware behind it. It just... My, my beef with it is that it's boring. Like, what, you even admitted it's like, it's not bad. It's like, it's no worse than the other levels. It's like, that's not praise. That's, that's excuse at that point. That's... That's just, like, being uh, apologizing for it. Like, yeah, it's not bad, necessarily. It's just, like, why why should I have to settle? Why is settling even, like, even, like, crossing the mind for that? Well, yeah, but I'm, I would say the same thing about the meadow levels. I'd say the same thing about all the other ones that you're comparing it to. It's like, why do we still have these meadow levels to start off all of these games? That's incredibly boring and, like, just uncreative. When there's so many other, like, possibilities in the Mario Lexic- Even within the Mario Lexicon, you could redo stuff from other games that have already been done for Mario, and it would still be more interesting than just a desert level. Or, like, look- when you look at Odyssey, when they d Fuck! When they did their desert level, it wasn't just desert. It was like an ice desert full of, like, living sphinxes that you could ride. And, um, like, a whole little city of, like, sugar skull people. Like, it was super, super interesting. But then most desert levels are just sand. We, we had yellow in the palette, so we figured we'd use it. Whoops. Come on. Come down here. Come down here, bastard man. Whoops. Shit. Two. Three. Four. Eight. Hooks it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Got him. I didn't say it wasn't. It is just as applicable to meadow levels. I, I literally said it's just as applicable to meadow levels or standard water levels. Like, why do we have the same kind of level more than once? Like, what, what's the point of that? When it's literally anything that you can think up and can be programmed could be a level in a video game, why bother with the ones that have already been done? Unless you're gonna do something new and interesting. Wait, I've already been through here. Where's this pipe go? Hmm. Incorrect. Go get on that little boat. Alright, uh... I gotta open this up so that I can get over there. What the fu- I was holding down. Mm. Well, yeah, but you can do familiarity with a new twist, like they did in Odyssey, or like they've done many, many times in other games. It's just like, I just, I see no need to just do the same rote stuff. And that's why a lot of people criticize uh, the the most of the side-scrolling Mario games up until new Super Mario World. Like, most of the modern ones were just really boring because they didn't do anything new. They just did the same stuff they'd always done and hoped that it would... It could be sold for another $60. And if I'm paying another $60, I want something new. Like, it was new for this. I, I can guarantee that. Like, it wasn't something they could really do as well on the other games, but like... Or no, Super Mario Bros. 2 also had the desert level. And it did something a little different by having it where you could sink into the sand and you had to like slowly hop yourself out. Yeah, they had like snow levels and like jump jump levels, basically. 
But that was about it. Ah, shit. This one? Nope. Well, that goes with that. Uh, shit. Damn. Well. Go to the Toad House while it's open. Ah, frog suit. I don't need that. Well, no. As I said when I was playing that, it's like, it, it is technically Doki Doki Panic, but it was originally a prototype for Mario that they repurposed for a festival um, that used their characters. That's what Doki Doki Panic was. So it was actually originally going to be a Mario game that got scrapped and reskinned. And so it, like, went from Mario to to, uh, reskin to another reskin as Mario. So, like, that design was actually going to be Mario. And the question is how much of Doki Doki Panic shared the same level design? Because, like, if they reskinned the characters, did they reskin other things? I don't know. I've never played that. I've just heard people talk about it for friggin' decades. Oh, fuck you, blooper. Move! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I don't want to get swallowed up. Ah, damn it. Ah, I got tickled by the little, little tentacles. All right. Let's get the hammer bros out of here. Oh, jeez. There's water. Oh, this makes it very hard for me. Ah, fuck. There we go. Give it to me. Star. Star is pretty useless because you only get it for like 10 seconds. You know what? I probably should have. Probably should have put on the frog suit for this level. I feel like it has to have some amount of use somewhere in here. Fuck. Let me get the. Mushroom. These levels are pretty relaxing. It's just some nice, nice music. Swimming. Whoa. Careful now. Wait, uh, can I go down this pipe? Nah. Well, I tried. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Uh, yep, let me through. I would say it, it's a taste thing. For me personally, I don't like desert levels. I think it's it's a really boring concept for a level, and I've always felt that way. Like, I never liked desert levels. I always thought that it was just a really, really uninteresting thing to do for a platformer level. Ah, shit. But yeah, as I said, as I said, it is not any worse than any of the other bland level types. But, like I said, why are there any bland level types? Why, why, why would you want to make a game, like something that you should be passionate about, if it's something that you're wanting to do, why would you want to make that then something that is just a, just generic sand, a generic grass, generic water it seems it seems weirdly like weirdly uh 
I don't know, just weirdly lazy to do that. Whoa, hey, one up. Whoop. Yep, yep. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on now. Whoa, shit! Ah, fuck! <sighs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just one of those things where it's like, um... Where, as soon as I see a desert level, I just know they're like, great, so we're gonna have like a maze and a pyramid. We're gonna have maybe some sinking sand. And we're gonna have like. Uh, that's pretty much it. Like, that's what shows up in those levels. So it's like, if I already know what's gonna happen in your level before I'm even playing it. That just means that I'm locking myself into a, a, a bored experience. Why? Why? Why would I want to do that when I could be playing? When you could have just cut that out entirely. I'd rather have six levels that are super interesting than seven levels, but three of them are just boring, generic fuck aesthetics. Come on now, I know I can get through this level. Whoa. Do -do. Whoa. Stop. Stop. Get out of here. Nobody called for you. No one, no one put you on the call sheet for today. The union said you couldn't come. <sighs> we talked to the union. They said you couldn't come. So you're not, you're not covered for today. It's just how it goes. Listen, we'd love to have you on call every day that it's going, but if you're not in a scene, you just can't show up and hang out, all right? We got work to do. All right, I'm going to not kill him this time so that I can... Yeah, I was hoping to get this, whatever it is. At least I know I won't game over on this because I can consistently get that one up. Man, this end bit. This end bit is really a pain. Ooh. Oh, I thought I did a little early. Okay. Ah, nice. Uh, let's do it. Oh, I need a hammer to get that boat. Mm, Should have saved that hammer. Shit. Whoo. Oh, fucking hate this giant ass fish. Because if you 
fuck up. It, it, like, it eats you one hit. Doesn't matter how fucking, like that! Doesn't matter if you have any, any specific suit or anything. You just get eaten. It's brutal! <gasps> My boy! My boy! Yes! 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 My child! I love him. He's dead now. Yes! Yes! Spike! I should, uh, take this moment to show off the cool pearler bead spike that Coco made me. So cool. So cool. This is the Mario World spike, though, I think. Or was he in Mario World? I don't know. What, hey, hey, what the fuck? I hit jump! Mm. Alright, I'm gonna try it this one again. Jeez, the water line goes really high in this one. Get me. No siree. Oh, yep. No. Let me up. Let me up. Oh, well, isn't that clever? Well, I don't need to go through there, so I don't. Do not mind. Nice. All right. Now let's do the slidey puzzle. Let's find out. Damn it. Uh, I'm bad at that. Oh well. Let's see what this is up up to. All about. Ah, oh, ba bombs. The boys that explode. They explode everywhere. What do do? Oh jeez. Nope. Bob bomb. Let me out. Ah shit. Oh no, and an underwater segment. Frog suit. Oh, I do have a hammer. Shit. Well, I'll frog suit it through this. Oh. Ah, damn it. I couldn't even keep it until the actual part I needed it. Well, that's, that's okay. I don't... I don't mind that much, to be quite frank. I'd just like to get through the level if I could. Check it out. Oh wait, that's... no, no, that's a different game. Which one I don't recall, but there is one where you can melt the ice blocks with your fire! Go on then, you green fish. 
Yes, two, two stars. All right. Uh, well, no, I can't go back. Oh wait, where's this go? Oh, that's the end. Hmm. Well, I'll do the fortress, I suppose. Cause I want to do that boat still. But the thingy won't go down. The uh, the bridge. Make it go down. Oh no. Oh no, a water dungeon. Water, well not a water dungeon, a water uh, thing. Ah shit, no, I should've used my fireball. Should've used my fireball. Take him out. But that's all right. Maybe I miss this time, but I won't miss next time. Oh, ah damn. I was hoping I could miss. Oh, these guys. These have never really shown up again. The little boo in the floor. Right. I don't remember. They do remind me of some stuff from uh, Golden Coins again. I guess those guys took a lot of inspiration from this game. Which makes sense. It is considered by many to be, like, the best Mario game. At least on NES. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Got him in three. Nice. Nice. Uh, well, let's go do the memory match. That should be fun. Let's see. This one. This one. Nope. Hold on. That's the one-ups. That's the ten- Nope! I fucked up. The ten coin was uh, just above that. Let's use the hammer. Get on the little boat. Oh. Oh, you can just free swim? I forgot about this. Pick a box. Middle one. Ah, yeah, mushroom. That ain't too bad. I've seen quite a few worse. And then we'll go down here to get the two other toad houses. And the lineups. I'm just gonna slam through them, dude. I'm not, never gonna get the timing right. Ugh, I'm farting at it. Give me the mill one. Fire. Uh, I'm gonna use that mushroom real quick because I think I will run out of space if I don't. Hmm. And you know what? I'm gonna actually take a quick break before I get into that since this is a safe spot. So I will BRB. Don't touch that internet dial.
Hello, comrades. Are you prepared for the revolution? Awesome for some more Mario. Let's do it. Let's just play some Mario. While the world burns. Come on now. Come on now. Frog suit. They give me so many damn frog suits. <sighs> Alright, let me see if there's anything else. Hmm, nothing over there. Mm, I already did that up there. That's just the end. Anything more? Nah. I guess I can just futz around. It's not particularly uh, useful. I don't know why they don't just let slap you right where you need to go. But it's fun. I like riding a little boat. All right, let's do this bit again. My boys, Spike, and his friend Spike, and his cousin, Spike Goo. Oh, shit. Ooh, I like how it looks like they have a little, like, like stubble on their head. It's very cute. I love them. Spike is, like, my favorite Mario character, enemy, any of it. He's, he's the best. He's just the best, all right? I'm, I don't make the rules. I just tell it like it is. Spike, ooh. Come on, come on. Let me on the dang thing. Oh, boy, coins. Oh, boy, coins. I'm actually pretty close to one up. Give it to me. Oh. Well, that's not a... Uh... Eh, maybe I'll do some fun stuff down there. Let's find out. Whoo! That was very close to the, uh, the hole. That could have been bad. Oh my god, the P-blocks don't last any amount of time either. Whoop! Whoop! Aw. Spike level's already done. Sick! Three stars! That's a five up. Sup? How's it going? Do you like stars? Were you girls in high school? Uh. Oh, hey, four viewers. Hello, everyone. I'm, uh, just about to finish off this world. So, good timing. Good timing. Come on. Which pipe is it? There's so many pipes in this one. Let me know in the chat, as always, if there are any weirdities with the audio or video or anything. I'd be happy to help them. And let me know just whatever, you know? We're just chill, having whatever conversation, so... I'll be sure to respond uh, whenever I get a chance to read it, which is fairly often. I mean, it's not going by too fast, and this game doesn't require that much attention. I got ten dang Marios. I don't need to pay that close attention. Hmm. Maybe I should have used one of my power-ups before coming in here. Monty Mole. Monty Mole is a close second to Spike. I do I do enjoy Monty Moles with their, their fat gut. Super Mar Oh, that's something I should play sometime. Some Super Mario Party. I'd probably do that from the living room, though. Ooh, ah, wait. Then I'd have to bring everything out because I can't stream straight from the Switch. Oh. That is kind of sad that that's the only console that cannot do it. But you know what? That's all right. I'll work it out. Oh, yeah. This thing. Gotta jump it. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, God. It's too slow. It is much too slow to catch up to the auto scroll. Going over top. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't throw that at me. How dare you. How dare you. Throwing these things at my head. Oh, it's Wendy Okupa. Let me just create a suspend point because she's got them hula hoops and they ain't going to be so good for me. Shit. 
What'd I sell you? Yeah, I just, I'm doing the suspend before the, the boss fights because there's no need to go through that same auto scroller when I'm doing an actual, like, show here. It's just, uh, just tedious. Oh, sweet, caught in the air. I do like Wendy. Wendy's a pretty good Koopaling. I, uh, I'm partial to Iggy for obvious reasons, but Wendy O is definitely, definitely a solid Koopaling. Remember when they revealed, <coughs> sorry, oh god, I got a cough in the middle of that. But remember when they revealed that, like, the Koopalings are not Bowser's kids? They're just other random Koopas? It was a very odd reveal. It's it's on par with when they revealed that uh, Hello Kitty is not a cat. She's she's just a British girl. That's how they describe her. What? 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that works. Besides, Hello Kitty ain't got nothing on my guy. A bat's Maru. This little, this little squishy bats Maru. I love this man. He's guumpy. I put my bats Maru squish in a bats Maru cup to keep him contained, to keep his power sealed. I mean, yeah, I don't know if I really agree with it. Oh, this is, I thought it was world five that was the big world, okay. But yeah, this shit's great, look at these. Look at them, look at this big old turtle. Wonderful. I wish the power-ups were also giant, but that had to wait for future games. <laughs> also, the wings are itty-bitty, which is adorable. And then I could go through a pipe to go to the, the regular version, but why the hell would I do that when I can be a big version? Come on now. I think they might force you in at one point in the level. I don't remember. As I've said, it's been quite a while since I played the this game. Aw, they don't have the big piranha with the fire. Nice, another star. I mean, it's kind of the same, but bit, like it being large is definitely changes how it works out. It makes it kind of into the, like, the Duplo of, uh, of Mario. No, I can't actually hit that with my tail. Okay, whoops, forgot you can't jump on the piranhas for some reason. I don't know why that even crossed my mind that you could do that. Come on, give me the star man. No! No! My star man! My mushroom! Do 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 Oh man, it's, yeah, some of these levels are so minuscule. <sighs> what do you got for me? We're going middle. We're going middle again. Link, link deleted. Oh. Did, wait, did your phone autocorrect a uh, piranha plant to link deleted? Because that is a very bizarre correction. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's the sumo brother. Shit! I do love their expression. They are formidable opponents, but uh, they just got tight little eyes. Oh, we'll go fire flower. But really, you can't jump on the piranha plant. I haven't played enough of him. I did buy the uh, I did buy the DLC of the piranha plant, but I haven't played enough. Hmm. Oh, you know what? If you did p dot something, yeah, I probably thought that that was like a web address or something. Whoops. Well, that's. It's okay. I get Tanuki Don. I 
Ah, damn it, I didn't slide. Ah. The analog stick kind of fucks up whether it's going down or not. No. No, give it to me. Ah, spiny. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, jeez. Shit, shit. Fuck. Well, that sucks. I'll just do that again. One thing about having the overworld, they don't have the, uh... You do have to restart the level every time. Shit. Uh, because in the other one, it would, like, give you tiny little checkpoints throughout, but... I guess we don't get checkpoints until Mario World again. But, considering how tiny these levels are, I'm not too surprised by that. Really, checkpoints would not be necessary. Shit, shit. Woo! Come on now. Spiny. Come on. Oop. Oh boy. I should have done a run jump with that. <laughs> Whew. Whoa. Whoa, those are awkward. Got through it though. Come on, what we got? Start. Yes! Fuck yeah. Sup. Five stars. Five up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a little walking fireman. Come on. <laughs> He's got little legs. Little walking legs. I love them. I would die for them. Oh, I'm probably gonna die by them if I don't start taking this serious. Whoop! Whoop, whoop. These guys I don't think ever popped up again in a Mario game, did they? Shit! I need more of a run up. They do work like the booze, where they only come at you when you're not looking. So I just gotta get him. Shit! Ah, oh, fuck! I didn't think that the uh, holder would stab me. Unfortunate, but it happens. Ooh. Ah, shit. I stepped off just enough. This is pretty hard. Let's just do that for the Hammer Bros. Er, I guess Sumo Bro. Oh, a little cloud. What's the cloud do? Uh, it's been a while. I do not recall the cloud. About ready to just start using the frog suits so that I get a couple extra hits in. That's so awkward. How the fuck am I supposed to get over him? Okay, it got kind of stuck there for a minute. Hmm. 
Fuck! Fuck! Ah, I was gonna jump. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta... I'm gonna frog suit it. Not incredibly useful here, but it will at least give me a couple extra hits to work with. God, the thwomps in this look so fucking badass. Oh, shit. Fuck, fuck. Well, damage boost. Woo! Like, with the spikes and shit? It looks so fucking cool. Fuck! <sighs> At least this. At least this. Come on. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh god, I overshot it. Hold on, do any of these pipes do anything? Or are they just here for aesthetic? Nope, none of them. That's a little annoying. But okay. Fuck! God, that spot is just so fucking awkward. What's this do? Damn it! Shit sucks, dude! And there's no, like, going around it. Like, I have to do this fucking fortress and it's annoying as shit! Alright, I have to take damage. There, and then I think... Oh, yeah, oh, got, got by just in time. Don't care, don't care. I made it. I made it, you all fucking saw it. Y'all fucking saw it. Whoa! Holy shit. I'm going to create a suspend point, because fuck off. I'm not going to do all that shit again if I don't have to. Oh, it's already boom boom time. Boom, boom, Coke banner, boom, boom, Coke banner. I do kind of look like Coke banner, too. He's wearing a very similar, uh, leotard. Uh, Leopold? Leo. Leo. Okay, that and that now. There we go. That's something. Yes, good. Fuck. Whoops. Oh well. Oh well, that's fine. I'm I'm got some good stuff. Nope. It's got the little mushroom hat. That's about the best I can do. Whoops. Oh, okay, there is water down here. I was gonna say it'd be weird if they had a... Uh, some coral without water. Oh no, this means more than big, big fish, doesn't it? Um, oh, no, I guess it's just lack of two. Well, that's fine. I asked this previously, but, um... 
Do you guys pronounce it Lakitu or Lakitu? With the, the E sound. Because I've gone back and forth. I think as a kid I mostly did uh, Lakitu. Which I think is more accurate to what the Japanese pronunciation would be, I think? I'm not sure. Mushroom, mushroom is acceptable. Mushroom is useful. I'm just gonna use a star on this guy. Why not? Seems a little rude, but you know what? He's throwing hammers at me, so heckin'. Oh, good. And that gives me another star for uh, the other guy. Oh, the audio's screwing up again. There we go. Cart lifter guy is also a good option. Thank you, one. There we go. Oh, he's actually out here, so I'm just gonna hit him. Got him. Ooh, a P-Wing. That'll be useful for the next world. Which I believe is the uh, Sky World. Which has a lot of really difficult platforming. Fuck. Timed it very wrong. Well, that, that works out for me. Aw, oh, no big bullet bills. Guess not till the next one. The fuck? The audio is already fucking up again. In my stream... I'll never hear the end of it. Oh, shit! I wasn't expecting that one to fire. Hold on. God damn it, Elgato. Get your shit together, dude. We're doing stuff here. I need you to work with me. Y yeah, I keep you in the dark on most things. And on the literal level. But you know what? You can You can work with me on this. Shit! Oh, he turned! I didn't expect him to turn like that. Right. I'm pretty sure if I went through that door, it would take me to the, uh... the standard size version of this level, but I ain't bothering. I like the big version. It's a little easier. TB quite H. Get him. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. Yep, yep, I thought that was the level. And fuck! Ah, oh, they tricked me! Can't put a fucking Koopa in the end panel. Are you fucking serious? The Elgato's already fucking up again. After two goddamn seconds. Come the fuck on, dude! <sighs> I was real smart not to pause there. It worked out. It worked out for me. I d really appreciate how the uh, mushroom fits into the into the box, or really coming out of the box. How it's it's lined up so neatly with the sides. Ooh, it's satisfying. Shit. Now wait for the fucking trickster turtle. 
that they decided to hide. Like, but, but, fuck! Oh my god, he fucking respawned. What the fuck is that about? It's fine, I'll still get a one-up for that business. Then there's an optional fortress, which I'm gonna do, because I am representing- Ah, there's the Tanuki suit. That's the real one. I'm gonna save it for the next world, because as I said, it's uh, a lot of tricky pla- Fuck! A lot of tricky platforming. Or no, that's not an optional fortress, now that I think about it. It's a, uh... To get over there, you have to... You have to do that fortress. Whoop! There we go. I had to time it out correctly. Oh boy, yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. This is... This isn't too bad. I can... I can deal with bullet bills, you know? They don't go up and down in this version, so it's not the worst problem. Fuck! That was bad timing. That was bad timing on my part. Yep, yep, yep. Come on. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! Alright, I'm gonna do a suspend point here, because I don't want to redo the entire world. If I lose this life... Mm, mm, nope, bad timing. Bad timing on that one. Yeah, my nose itch. Shit, shit. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. You let me out. Oh boy, this is hard. Oh boy. Oh, oh, is that the level end? I'd appreciate it. Nice. No tricks. All treats. One up. I will I'll take that one up to the bank. I'd really appreciate it if I got this. Okay, mushroom. Mushroom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Two up. Okay. We're back in business, baby. There we go. All right. Gonna make another suspend point for safety. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Oh boy, what's this level's deal? Oh, mm, dry bone. No, it's just donuts. I can handle donuts. I eat them all the time, hey. Oh, I should make donuts sometime. I need a lot of oil though. I'm scared of deep frying, man. It, it's the oil burns and shit. That shit's it's fucking scary. Ooh, ooh, a secret. Oh, that's neat. Oh. Okay, just going up. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever gotten this. This is cool. Uh, well, I just gotta take the other one then. This is cool, dude. I've never gotten this secret before. Oh, it's super useful. Hmm. Now, how do I get up? Is there a hidden block? 
Oh, wait, what am I doing? I go over to that pipe, obviously. This makes me think a lot of, the, like, the clear pipes in uh, some of the newer games. Um, all the, the zigzagging, moving around stuff. Whoop. Oh, boy. I got it. I gotta get over there. Or do I? How am I supposed to get up? Oh, I gotta, like... I gotta, like, time it out. Shit, this is tricky. Ugh. Fuck. Fuck. Wait. Or er, takes me to the same spot. I don't know why I did that. Oh, good. It does freeze the timer when you're going through a pipe. So that's useful. How am I supposed to get over here, though? Pretty sure you just gotta kind of hop it just right. Fuck. Is there like another part of this like puzzle I'm not getting? Fuck. I'm gonna run out of time at this rate. This fucking blows. I was having a good time with it, and then it, it did this shit to me. During my last hundred seconds, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know how else to get up there. Fuck. Fuck. Just want to get through. Oh, damn it. Ah. My hubris. Got to like jump, jump. Got to like jump, jump. Oh, well, your P-wing stops when you go up, so it's like that can't be it, can it? Damn it. It's not any kind of special jumps in this. I just got... Fuck. Fuck. This sucks. I really don't want to time out. It feels so bad. I don't like it. I don't like the feeling of it, dude. It feels... It feels real bad. Damn it! No, no, but it's too late. I'm gonna time out. Oh wait, fuck! I can just leave. That would have been good to know. Well, now I don't have any time to get to the goddamn boss and win here. But okay. Oh wait, fuck it. Suspend point. I'm I'm making a second suspend point so I don't fuck myself here. But maybe I can. Two. Three. Oh, fuck, really? Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god! Ah, with two seconds to go! <laughs> fuck yes! Oh, fuck, that was amazing! I 100% I did not expect to be able to pull that off. That's awesome. <gasps> this is DK Jr. He <laughs> Oh man, that just that brought my spirits up. That felt good. Oh, that felt really good. Uh, let's create a suspend point. Yeah, did I not? Wait. All oh, right, I gotta use the the A button. Do 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 do. Oh man, I got I I. I can't believe not only did I do that, but I did it first try. Fuck, 
fucking awesome. Shit, shit. Alright, alright. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Shit! Ah, fuck. Well, hopefully there wasn't anything cool over there. Ah, oh, damn it. That's probably something awesome like a t uh, tanuki leaf. Oh, oh, wait. I can loop back and get it. Oh, that's no problem. Dude, why I would have done that? Yep. Yep. Tanuki leaf. Raccoon suit. Oh, boy. Ah, damn it. I already lost it. Ah, oh, my hubris. Fuck. Lost that too. Fuck! Let's load the suspend point. just went so bad for me so quick. I was on top of it and then just nope. 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 Alright, I'm not going to deal with the little spinny dealy. Don't need to. I can just go over the jet engines. Whoops. Oh, right. There is like a, an air gap that you can't go up against. Gotta remember that. Ooh. Ooh, that's just biting at my heels. Hmm. Oh boy, auto scroller levels. Especially when you already know what you you're gonna do. It's a cool idea, and it, it does add some variety, I suppose. But like, this makes me want to fall asleep. It's so 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 slow. Just needs to be faster, I think. Be would be what would make me happy. Hmm. Come on now. Come on now. Let's keep it moving. Secret? No secret for me. Dad, ah, damn it. That's okay. That's okay. I can deal. Yep, the end of the level's right here. Take me to the boss. Uh, oh yeah, this is Iggy. I found him! My boy! Hey, he's a pushover, though. Uh, these bosses are stupid easy. Oh, man. All right, I think that'll do it for tonight. So, I want to thank you, whether you're watching in the past, the present, or the future, with the uh, past broadcast tab, which you can check if you want to catch the beginning of the stream if you came in later, or uh, the Twitch Archive YouTube channel, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive, which you can find linked down below. You can also find my personal YouTube, at Iggy and the Ape, which is what uh, I post a bunch of fun stuff to, and I'm going to finish something this next week that's going to be super fun. Um... Yeah, so if you want to see all the streams, they're on the YouTube channel. If you want to see just the uh, last 14 days worth, they're up there. Including the test stream, which I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'll put it onto the YouTube channel. Um, if you want to catch any future streams, you can either uh, check the schedule down below, which is subject to change, or on the main channel page, which is a little more exact, but also still subject to change. The more... A uh, sure way to make sure that you don't miss any is to go to at IggyDKid and follow me because I tweet out every time that I go live. You can also go click the follow there. It's free for you if you have an account and it helps me out a good deal. So I'd really appreciate you considering and you can get notifications for when I go live with that. So that would also be a really good way to do it. So with that, I want to thank you all for inviting me into your home, your computer, your phone, your tablet, your game console, however it is you watch tonight. I really appreciate it. I hope I brought some levity and entertainment to your life. I do my best. And hey, if nobody's told you this before, nobody ever tells you this, I'll tell you this right now. You're a good kid. Good night, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye.